at three and three after winning their last three. And the Bulls opening the season, of course, with that three-game losing streak, but Phil Jackson's club has counterbalanced that perfectly to this point. Now we're ready for the introductions. Let's go to the public address system. The Chicago Bulls. Introducing the Chicago Bulls. Wearing number two, a 6'5 guard from Ohio State, Dennis Hobson. Number 10, a 6'2 guard from Iowa, B.J. Armstrong. Number 14, a 6'2 guard from Long Beach State, Craig Hodges. Number 32, 7'4 center from Vanderbilt, Will Purdue. Wearing number 34, a 6'11 center forward from Oklahoma, Stacy King. Number 42, a 6'10 center from North Carolina, Scott Williams. And wearing number 53, 6-8 forward from Wichita State, Cliff Levingston. Starting for the Bulls at forward wearing number 33, 6-7 from Central Arkansas, Scotty Pippen. Starting forward number 54, 6-10 from Clemson, Horace Grants. The starting center, number 24, 7-1 from San Francisco, Bill Cartwright. Starting guard line, number 5, 6-2 from Notre Dame, John Paxson. And wearing number 23, 6-6 from North Carolina, Michael Jordan. The Chicago Bulls are coached by Phil Jackson, assisted by John Bach and Jim Clemens, along with Tex Witters. Their trainer is Chip Schaefer. Bill Jackson says you must learn how to win on the road. It's what builds good teams into great teams. And of course, the last few years, the Bulls have been a pretty good road club. 19 wins on the road last year. Long road winning streak last year, nine in a row. You know, it's interesting that Utah home loss did not happen on this floor, but rather over in Tokyo in their two-game series with Phoenix. Jerry Sloan's club, one of the powers in the Midwest Division. Wearing number five, 6'6 six, six guard forward from BYU, Andy Toulson. Number 11, 6'2 guard from Wake Forest, Delaney Run. Number three, 6'5 guard from East Carolina, Theodore Malou Edwards. Johnson, his assistant, Jerry Sloan with 50-plus wins in each of the last two seasons, 36 home wins last year. That was a team record. And the officials assigned by the NBA, Bob Delaney, Steve Jabby, and Jim Kinsey. Uh-oh. Oh, oh. Michael Jordan coming by with a little uh, road trip rosin for you and me. Horace Grant with a tough matchup tonight. He's got the mailman to deal with. And Scotty Pippen has a tough matchup because the size of Thurl Bailey. Cartwright will go against Eaton, Paxson and Stockton, Jordan and Jeff Malone. Malone nursing that bad elbow, Jim. It swelled up on him, a burst of sack that bothered him. Jazz shooting over 50% from the field last year, 5'11". And right now they're about 45% this season. So they've had a big drop off. They'll throw it up again. Cartwright and Eaton. Utah 45-3 and the Bulls 49-5 from the field. That's, that's a tough toss. Jim Kenzie, young official, trying to throw it up. Mark Eaton I mean, seven one, a, Cart, or, or Eaton seven four, Cartwright at seven one. Can't be that tough. 
No. Cannot be that tough. <laughs> They'll let it go on the third one. When you Utah get, with it. When you can get through breakfast with five kids without spilling <laughs> your coffee, you can get hey, that ball tough, up straight. Right? <laughs> Here's Stockton running the show out to the left and Paxson all over him. Stockton has lost the dribble. Out front, it's Malone. On the right side, Jeff Malone works around an Eaton screen. Down the lane, force up shot, air ball. Pippen out, lets to Paxson. Bulls coming back. Pax comes down, pull up shot right of the key. Rimming no. And the rebound to Bailey. And now Utah going back the other way. Stockton in the front court to the right. Drives Paxson to the foul line, plays it left corner to Jeff Malone. He fires it in. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that elbow. No, sir. Only hurts on defense. That's <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Malone brought a 415 field goal percentage into this game. Can you believe that? Here's Pippen holding to the right. Shot clock at 12. Jordan low right. Fadeaway jumper. No good, but a foul on Jeff Malone. And Michael Jordan shoots two. Well, Malone has given him problems, not necessarily all of uh, Jeff Malone, but uh, he gives Michael some problems, gets him on the right wrist. But with the teams he's played with, he's played with the Minute Bowles team, the Washington team, where they run Michael off a ton of screens. So you would think that this would not be the toughest time that he and Malone would go after each other because there's so many other players that they go to on this Utah team. Mm -hmm. Michael Jordan missing the first of two. Came in shooting 81% from the foul line through the first six games. 0 for 2, and Jeff Malone the rebound. Stockton brings it up for the Jazz. Outside left, Malone leaves the post, and Carl Malone moseys down that way, but Stockton drives the baseline, lays it off to Jeff Malone. His shot is blocked. Thurl Bailey lost the ball out of bounds. The Bulls end up with it after all. John Paxson brings it up. 2-0 Jazz, 10.45 for the opening quarter. Scotty Pippen wide to the right, now to Jordan, out between the rings. Cartwright left to the key, hands to Jordan. Michael on the drive, in for the left, lays it up, no good. Yeah, tip won't go. Horace Grant hustles and comes up with a rebound. They've been bothered by Eaton on that play, Jim. Here's Pippen on the drive down the lane, kicks back to Paxson. Right side, it's Jordan. Jordan holding on Jeff Malone, 13 to shoot. Grant low right, turnaround shot over Carl Malone, rims out. Eaton juggles the rebound away, picked up by Stockton. Boy, the ball's unable to connect with anything. Stockton front court to the left. Standing dribble at the stripe, guarded by Paxson. And off the ball, a foul on Grant, trying to guard Carl Malone down in the post. You and I talked about him having going to have a tough time with Malone down there. He's a big, strong bruiser, and Horace has put on some weight this summer, but not enough to match that big guy. The Jazz with a ball in play, leading 2 nothing. We've played two, uh, two minutes. Here's Carl Malone's fadeaway jumper, good right baseline. It's 4 nothing, Utah. Bulls are going to have to find the shooting eye. Paxson delivers to Jordan to the right, into Grant, low right. Horace against Carl Malone, backs in, jump hook, rimming no. Foul called on Carl Malone. Horace Grant shoots two. So they get a horse apiece, Jimmy, on that play. How about this? The Malones have the points and the foul. <laughs> they get a little everything in this game, man. Huh? Horace Grant, 77% free thrower. Bulls, part of their problem in their three-game losing streak was their poor free-throwing. They improved that in their big win at Boston the other night. They shot well at home against Charlotte, yeah, so I thought they were back on the beam. And Horace and hits both of them, Michael's, so they're two for four. Michael's been a load on occasion. Every team has a load. Four to two, Jazz. <laughs> Full court press by the Bulls. Stockton way in the backcourt, still in the dribble. A bounce pass on ahead to Jeff Malone. He comes across into the front court. Malone off to the right. On the walk against Jordan. Right corner, Thurl Bailey. A jump into Carl Malone. Quick move to the hoop. He muscled the shot in. Carl Malone. Boy, he hit the shot, and he was still trying to draw contact with Cartwright. It's 6 to 2, Utah. Pippen with a pump fake. Jordan has it left side. Left corner, Paxson. Back out to Jordan. 12 to shoot. Right side, Cartwright. Wide right, Pippen. Pippen on the drive. Right of the lane comes up shooting. Eaton the block. Malone clears it. 
to Stockton. Utah coming in a hurry. Stockton brings it down, guarded by Jordan. Takes it back outside. On the right side, it's Bailey. Down low right, Carl Malone. It's loose out of bounds. The Bulls have it, still without a field goal, and 8.58 left to go in the opening quarter. They're very tentatively attacking this defense down here. When you look at the, uh, the size of this Utah team from where we're sitting, Jim, they're just packing it in back there. Morris Grant has it outside left, guarded by Carl Malone. Now to Paxson between the rings. Cartwright high to the right, hands to Paxson. Pax works around a Cartwright screen. Takes it back right side toward the corner. Shoots out of the right corner. Good. John Paxson delivers on the first field goal tonight for the Bulls. A long shot out of the right corner. You'll recall he had a big third quarter in here last year. He had something like eight shots in a row. Here's Stockton on the drive. Baseline left, spins underneath, and a foul on Paxson. That's his first. Two team fouls on the Bulls. Looked like Pax had him forced out of bounds. Stockton had to turn around and throw the ball back out. It's a non-shooter. Jazz with a ball in play. Off to the left is Stockton. Stockton on the walk left, guarded by Paxson. Shot clock at 12. Carl Malone low left against Grant. Wheels across the lane. Hook shot blocked by Grant. Malone gets it back. Muscles it up no good. Forrest Grant the rebound ahead to Jordan. Michael feeds it left side to Paxson. Pax back out to Jordan. Long jumper ahead of the key. Rimming no. Eaton has it for Utah. And now Stockton brings it back. The Jazz still with a 6-4 to four lead. Stockton trying to get it into the post. They get it into Malone, knocked away, but a foul call. It's on Cartwright. Cartwright with his first. That's three fouls on the Bulls, three team fouls. Well, a lot Horace, of action in that post. You're right. Horace Grant really played uh, Malone well the last time, and then this time they got Bill Cartwright to step over to double team. They picked a foul. Up. The chance with a ball in play. Stockton has it top of the key. Bounce pass to Malone. Turn around shot left of the lane. It's in. Carl Malone with six of their eight. The Bulls throw ahead to Grant. It's loose. He tries to save, but to Bailey, and now Utah coming back in transition. Stockton to Jeff Malone. He lays it up no good. Hurt right the rebound. Traffic clears out to Paxson. Pax works at front court. Left side, Pippen. Scotty drives right into heavy traffic. Cart right ahead of the key. Left side is Pippen. Ten to shoot. Jordan between the rings. Grant turns right of the key. Eight to shoot. Outside jumper in and out. Eaton the rebound. One lonesome basket by the Bulls in five minutes of action. Here's Stockton driving it right of the lane. Lays it up. No good. Hit in by Carl Malone right over the back of Horace Grant. Eight for him, ten for Utah, 22nd timeout for the Bulls, who trailed by six. Boy, oh boy, that Chicago shooting, non-existent to this point. Well, the only shot they have is a long perimeter shot by John Paxson, and that's what they want to give him. One for seven for the Bulls. They plant the big guy, Mark Eaton, down in there. Full timeout being taken now. Ten to four, Utah. Back after these messages on the Bulls Network. It's written permission of the NBA, the Bulls, Sports Channel Chicago, and WLUPM Incorporated is prohibited. Pippen has it left corner, drives it left lane, lead in shot, banked it around and out. Scotty, his own rebound, lays it in. Good job by Scotty Pippen. He body hunted on the shot and did not get the foul called, and, but he followed it well and put it back in. And that's a four-point lead for Utah. They're looking for Eaton and play instead to Bailey, top of the key, 10 to shoot. In the left corner, Jordan a steal. Here comes Michael, wraparound dribble in from the right, lays it with the left hand, good. Michael Jordan scoring on the break, and the Bulls are within two. So they've been able to withstand this poor shooting early. They wish they were one of their first seven. They're right in the ball game with six minutes left in the quarter. Stockton outside left, standing dribble against Paxson. Into Carl Malone, fade away left baseline, it's in. Boy, he's got it stuck on automatic, Red. Well, he's got him off on the outside, except that one tap over the top, Jim. He's really improved in that area. And Horace has done a good job on it. Yep. And he's still got 10. Here's Jordan's shot left of the key right through. Michael Jordan has the last four. And the Bulls are within two. 5.33 left to go, first quarter. The Bulls opening a seven-game Western road trip tonight here in Utah. 
Milwaukee handling Boston in the second quarter tonight. A pass inside to Bailey and a foul on Pippen. Scotty Pippen with his first. The Bulls with four team fouls. Delaney Rudd comes in for the Jazz, replacing Stockton. Delaney Rudd, 6'2 guard. Carl Malone to make the inbound. That might pass. be a good move. They might want to come back with Stockton against B.J. Armstrong. Yeah, that's probably what Jerry's thinking. The Jazz with a ball in play. Rudd outside left, guarded by Paxson. Bounce pass into Carl Malone. Low left, he's doubled. Back out to Bailey, pressured by Jordan. Thurl Bailey, top of the key, has lost the dribble. 12 to shoot. Bailey delivers the ball underneath to Rudd, flips it up off the glass, no good, but draws the foul on Paxson. Paxson with his second foul, and Delaney Rudd shoots two. Well, Michael had Thurl Bailey in a box out there. He couldn't put it down. He couldn't go anywhere with it, and then slashing down the lane, Delaney Rudd took it to a pass, threw it over his shoulder, and drew the foul. And now B.J. Armstrong comes in for Paxson, who has two fouls. Delaney Rudd's free throw. DJ's done a good job in this winning streak for the Bulls, averaging 12.6, shooting 60% from the field. Hit big shots at Minnesota to give them their first victory. And played well in Boston and against Charlotte as well. Delaney Rudd drops both free throws, and the Jazz have a four-point lead. About five minutes left in the quarter. Armstrong into the front court. Pippen has it off to the left. Scotty Pippen holding left. Cartwright clears. Eaton doesn't go get him. Pippen to the hoop. No foul. Ball loose in the corner. Eight to shoot. Bulls have it. Armstrong feeds it to Cartwright. Left side Pippen. Three on the clock. Scotty shoots it over Eaton. No good from the left. Ball tipped outside. Cartwright saves to Jordan. Good effort. Boy, it looked like Scotty got fouled on that drive in for the left I'll against Eaton. Sure did. Pippen gives it up to Cartwright. He wheels at the foul line. Left side, Pippen against Bailey. Scotty goes baseline, surrounded. Back to Cartwright. Open shot. Left to the lane. Bank no good. Jordan the rebound. His follow. Bank no good, but he draws the foul. Boy, the Bulls are oh, getting on the glass. Right? They are, Jimmy. That's the second one on Jeff Malone. He got the shot. Cartwright's shot was off to the side. Michael did get inside and took it. He got hammered on the head uh, by Goliath. Mark Eaton, but this is the shot we were talking about, Jimmy, when he drove in. We thought that he got hammered. Oh, he, he did, did get across fouled the, right arm across the across arm. The yeah. head. That's why Scotty was upset. Michael Jordan hits a free throw. Daryl Griffith comes on, replacing Jeff Malone. It's a three-point lead for Utah at 14 to 11. Jordan again. That's in. Michael's got six. Jazz have it in play. Griffith in the backcourt brings it up against Jordan. He's double teamed. Horace Grant strips it, ties him up. Jump ball. Jump ball is called. Daryl Griffith under pressure in the backcourt. This is going to force Jerry Sloan's hand. He may have to come back with yep. Stockton to handle the pressure. Uh, they forced him away, and then uh, just from the blind side, Horace came in to tie him up for the jumper. Big height advantage here to the Bulls, of course. Horace Grant. At 6'10", now Blue Edwards comes in, Thurl Bailey goes out. Blue Edwards at 6'5", so they go down in size up front. Grant at 6'10", Daryl Griffith about 6'4". Cartwright has it on the tip. Michael Jordan guarded by Griffith off to the left. And it goes to Cartwright against Eaton, low left. Cartwright backs into the lane and walks. And a big eight of move behind him, he just stands there. Jazz needs to run it through the mailman to get back into the offensive scheme of things. And just that one hoop over the last two minutes. The Bulls back in it here at 14 to 12. And 3.57 left in the quarter. Edwards pressured by Pippen, top of the key. Right side, Rudd dumps into Eaton, low right. Cross court pass to Edwards, shoots at top of the rimming, no. Michael Jordan picks off the rebound. Bulls back looking to tie. Jordan coming into the front court. Pippen off to the left against Edwards. Inside they play to Grant. Low left now to Armstrong, wide left. Back into Horace against Carl Malone. Across the lane, jump hook. Uh -uh. Rebound Malone. Delaney Rudd brings it down. Turns on the dribble out between the circles. And the Bulls now 0 for their last four. Daryl Griffith wide left, dumps it into Carl Malone, low left, against Grant across the lane, shoots it up, rims it no good. Cartwright the rebound inside of Eaton. 
into the front court. Armstrong left side is Pippen. Into Grant again. Grant takes it into the lane. Gets the pass off to Pippen, and Scotty got fouled going to the right baseline. Blue Edwards on the foul, and a timeout taken. We have 2.58 left opening quarter. Utah up to 14 to 12 on the Bulls Network. Let's pause for station identification on the Bulls Network. For the most complete coverage of the Midwest's finest professional and amateur sports, stay right here with Sports Channel. On Wednesday the 28th, the Bulls off the road trip against Washington, and the first 10,000 fans who enter the stadium receive a Bulls fun book, compliments of the Chicago Tribune. Bulls to throw in, foul line extended to the right. Cleveland beats Atlanta tonight. And Orlando finally wins one against Dallas. Michael Jordan missing the shot from the right. It's cleared by Eaton. And Utah takes it back with a two-point lead. Delaney Rudd backing in. Left side gives to Griffith. The outside shot is no good. Rebound Pippen. Utah is cold as well right now. Armstrong, a quick throw into Jordan underneath, and Michael is fouled by Daryl Griffith. He'll shoot two as Utah is over the limit. He did. He drove to the side, took it on the left side, went in. B.J. gave him the pass. Michael just wheeled right around and went underneath. A reach-around foul by Griffith. Stacy King ready to come on. So Orlando finally wins one at home, right? Yeah. On the road, they have a tough time. Chicago, substitution number 34, Stacy Keith. Sixers win at Indiana. That's impressive without Johnny Dawkins. Michael Jordan hitting the first one. He's got seven. Now he shoots for the tie with 2.33 left in the quarter. Rimming, good. The game tied at 14. Boy, the Bulls have played hard. Any shooting at all, and they would have a nice, comfortable lead here. Instead, they're just drawing even. They've got the press on. Rudd has picked up the dribble in the backcourt. Carl Malone brings it across. Jump pass off to Griffith's right side. He comes up shooting and hit it. Daryl Griffith hits it on the right wing. Utah up two. We near the two-minute mark for the quarter. King with a ball right of the lane, guarded by Malone. Outside Armstrong, back into King. Stacy King backs into the hoop, missed the layup, and Eaton takes it down. Stacy gets it back, shoots the ball, no good, tipped in by Cartwright. Good work. Stacy took it right out of his head. He made the move. I was afraid that Eaton would be there when he made his move against the other forward. He, he was. was. He was afraid of that too. That's why he <laughs> missed the initial initial shot. So the game tied at 16. Minute 45 left in the quarter. Lanny Rudd has lost a dribble and an illegal defense whistled against the Bulls. Here's John Stockton coming back in for the jam. Delaney Rudd will be going out, but when Delaney Rudd is pressured on the side, that's the time you can play in front of Malone, not behind him. So they've got to throw that perfect pass over the top, but now John Stockton back in the lineup. Carl Malone to make the inbounds pass. Foul line extended left. Bulls at 26-3 and Utah at 43-8 as a percentage from the field. Stockton takes it off to the right, guarded by Armstrong. Stockton, a standing dribble over the top. Carl Malone, he missed the layup and then tipped it in. Carl Malone's got 12 of their 18. Here's Pippen with it off left side. Michael Jordan out between the rings. Stacey King high to the right. Hands to Jordan. Michael drives it down the lane in deep. Flips the shot up and in. Around oh, Eaton. What English he had on that, baby. He even had some French on that one. <laughs> it's 18-18 with 109 remaining in the quarter. Stockton out to the left, standing dribble against Armstrong. Takes him on the drive, baseline left, reverse layup, left it short. Cartwright the rebound. Bulls coming down with a chance at the lead. B.J. Armstrong into the front court. Inside they go to King, low right against Carl Malone. Back out to Armstrong, left corner Pippen, Scotty fires. Rimming, no, tip try, King won't go. Ball tipped out to Stockton. The Jazz coming back, Stockton on the drive, down the lane. Right corner Griffith, he fires, it's no good. Blue Edwards, the rebound. Armstrong steals it from it. BJ coming back with a push. Ahead to Pippen. Scotty takes it into the lane. Back left to Armstrong. Now to Pippen, top of the key, and the Bulls come back outside. Mount Eaton was waiting. <laughs> oh, boy. In the pass, wasn't he? He was. Nine on the shot clock. The Bulls working perimeter. Jordan right of the key. Around a king pick. Shoots it baseline right. Right, no good. Rebound Eaton. Up court Stockton. Again, the Jazz back with a chance to regain the lead. Edwards is fouled by Armstrong going to the hoop. 
with 4.3 seconds left in the quarter. B.J. Armstrong the foul, and Blue Edwards shoots two. Will Purdue coming on for the Bulls. Cartwright is out. Mike Brown ready to come on for Utah. Well, Eaton has really garnered the rebounds tonight. He's in there as a force, and as uh, you and I mentioned, King went around, beat his man, but I think he was the sonar in the area. He was sensing beep, 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 which usually means Mount Eaton. Blue Edwards hits the first one. He's five in a row from the free throw line of the season. And the former Bull, Mike Brown, comes into the game. Eaton leaves the game with some blocks, some scares, some in the grasp. And you know what? He, he's taken 11 shots in four games, Jim. That's less than three for a game. He, every 10 minutes, he averages one. He didn't even get one up today. So far. <laughs> so far. Right. Well, maybe he'll shoot two over the next 10 minutes. <laughs> Edwards hits both free throws, and Utah two-point lead. The Bulls throw it ahead to Jordan. Out of King, cutting in for the right. He lays nice. it in. Michael, Good beautiful. Play. King, beautiful. 1.6 left. Michael steals the outlet, shoots a three out front. Yes! Oh, baby! Michael Jordan stole the upcourt pass and stuck it at the buzzer from three-point range. And so the Bulls lead by three after one, 23-20 on the Bulls Network. Say you could be the lucky fan selected to participate in the AT&T three-point shooting contest, which takes place at every Bulls home game. Talking about three-point shooting, the Bulls scored five <laughs> points in 4.3 seconds, John. I think it's even less than that 4.3. Long pass down to court to Michael. No look pass to King. He comes in, lays it in, and John Stockton takes the ball along the baseline. He looks for somebody, throws it out, but Michael, like a roaming defensive back, picks it up. Time running out. He loads for a long three. Nothing but net. You're right. That's <laughs> about a 30-foot shot, a jump shot from about 30 feet. The Bulls have their first lead of the game. Second quarter underway. Jordan low right, doubled up, out to Armstrong, 18-footer, short on the front of the rim, Griffith the rebound, ahead to Stockton, burn into the hoop, his scoop shot blocked by Jordan, ball tipped away, grabbed by Cliff Levingston, ahead to Jordan, Michael up court to Stacey King, going to the hoop, he dunks it, Stacey King on the jam, and the Bulls go up by five. Michael Jordan, what a defensive play he made, <laughs> Again. snuffing the shot of John Stockton. Bulls on a seven-point run right now, and 11.20 left in the half. Stockton plays it into Bailey, short jumper, no good left baseline. Jordan the rebound, and the Bulls coming back. Jordan into the front court, guarded by Daryl Griffin. Around a Purdue screen, right of the lane. Left side Armstrong, 20-footer by B.J. Missed. Rebound tipped away. Loose ball foul called on Stacy King. King with his first. 32% shooting for the Bulls in the first quarter. Utah, 40%. Well, the Bulls scoring in transition. Stacy King getting the dunk. Two from Michael on a fast break transition. Dennis Hobson ready to come on. Stock three try, rimming no for the right. Will Purdue the rebound. Up court Armstrong. BJ works at front court right side. To King, right of the lane. King against Bailey. Jordan has it off to the right. Michael backs it out to the stripe. Back into King. Stacy with eight to shoot. Bangs into Bailey. No call. And then shoots it in off the glass. Right of the lane. Stacy King with six. And the Bulls lead is seven. That's nine straight points for Chicago. Outside left. Leaning over the dribble is Stockton. Looks low for Bailey. He's lost the dribble. Stockton still looking, 10 to shoot. Griffith shoots a three out front. It's in. Daryl Griffith, the safety valve on the play. He's got five. And the Bulls lead is four. Stacy King, right of the lane. Takes Mike Brown, backs him down low right. Fakes, fake, comes back, leans in, has the shot blocked. Mike Brown, the rebound out to Stockton. Here's a bounce pass loose. B.J. Armstrong has it, and he's fouled by Stockton. A smart foul to take by John Stockton because the Bulls had a two-on-nothing break going. Hobson is in. Jordan is out. Good play by the Bulls. There, I'll tell you, defensively, the Bulls have done a good job in this one so far. They have. Six Utah turnovers. Outside left, Dennis Hobson holding on Griffin. Inside to Levingston. Low left against Blue Edwards. Off the glass. And there it is. <laughs> there it is. Cliff 
Livingston puts the Bulls up by six. That's something. Eaton goes to the bench. Everybody wants to shoot. <laughs> and everybody shoots well. Blue Edwards has it on the right side. Out front, Mike Brown. Purdue on him loosely. Right side, Stockton. Eight on the clock. Down low right, they go to Edwards. Shoots it over Levingston. Hits the hook shot. Blue Edwards with his first two. Four-point lead for the Bulls. Dennis Hobson with it, wide to the right. Inside pass stolen by Stockton, intended for King. Boy, jump ball was called. Uh, that was really a bad pass by Hobson because I don't think he saw Stockton. Stockton just went right in front of uh, his man. There he was to pick it off and uh, jump ball out of it. The Bulls should control this. Big height advantage. Stockton at 6-1. Stacy King at 6'11. 9.04 left in the half. BJ standing up for what he thinks is his, and Carol Bailey just pushing him all over the court. King tips it over to you, Johnny. Oh! Saved inbounds by Levingston, but to Utah. Underneath, they get a shot blocked inside. Goaltending by Purdue. Blue Edwards gets the hoop. Boy, Cliff Levingston. Beautiful pass underneath. Stockton is one yep. of the best in the business. The best. Because of Cliff's hustle, that left the Bulls a man short at the other end. Purdue with a ball between the rings. The Bulls lead is two. Inside pass and a foul on Mike Brown as he reached over the top of Stacy King. First foul on Mike Brown. Two team fouls. Levingston to inbound it. 8.41 remaining. First half here in the Salt Palace. Closely contested game so far. Left corner, it's Hobson. Doubled up, cross court, he plays to Armstrong. Off to the right side, Levingston. Back out to Armstrong. Into Purdue, a fake in deep. Lefty hook, banked it in. Will Purdue score? Up against Thurl Bailey. And that puts the Bulls up by four. Bulls were patient that time. Utah was pressing on the perimeter. Outside left, Bailey. Mike Brown, top of the key. Purdue guards him loosely. Here's Hobson deflecting a pass out of bounds intended for Daryl Griffin. Well, I like that when Mike Brown is way out in the top of the key, Jim, to be the passer instead of down using that muscle underneath. Blue Edwards looks to bring it in. He comes into Stockton. Stockton calling a play off to the left. Stockton on the move. Picked up by Purdue. Bounce pass left side to Blue Edwards. The side shot rims out against the shot clock. Bailey rebounds and lays it in. Rebounded right over Stacy King. Thurl Bailey with his first two points tonight. Right side Levingston. Now Hobson has it out front against Griffin. Here's Armstrong shooting it in the lane. Left it short. Rebound tipped out. Armstrong gets it. So the Bulls get another attempt with a two-point lead. King down the lane to the right. Leading shot. Bank no good. Mike Brown the rebound. Stockton coming back as the Jazz look to tie. Right side Edwards, wide open jumper. Around and out. Hobson snaps down the rebound for the Bulls. Armstrong brings it up on the dribble. DJ head of the circle, works it left. Outside left is Hobson. Back to Armstrong. He takes it down the lane all the way inside and draws the foul. DJ Armstrong off that penetration. A foul on Mike Brown. Two fouls on Mike Brown. Well, uh, BJ's had a tough time putting the ball in the hole, but it uh, doesn't keep him shy of going down that middle. A big Mike Brown puts that foul on him. So two free throws by a guy that's leading the league in free throw shooting with several others. I guarantee you, John, if he continues to shoot a thousand percent, he will win the free throw title by setting an NBA record. <laughs> he hits the first one, so he's got a string of 16 in a row going. Carl Malone back in. Blue Edwards is out for the Jazz, who trail by three. 7.09 left in the half. Armstrong's second free throw. Rimming, good. 
good. They get two points out of Bailey Eaton and Stockton. They're start three of their starters. Yeah, Stockton averages just under 20. Stockton has it outside left on the drive against Armstrong into the lane. Scoop shot, banked it in through the foul. Foul on B.J. Armstrong. That shows you just what he can do. That's number two on B.J. He just took him right to the hoop, made the basket. He'll shoot a free throw when we come out of this timeout. 6.58 for the half. 33-31 Chicago on the Bulls Network. Who's on the floor? Last year, the Illinois Lottery lengthened Michael Jordan's hang time. This year, we leave it in your hands. The 1991 Michael Jordan Flip Book Day Book. And make sure this is not the only book you pick up. See us to graduation. Bulls game on WLUP Thursday night from Oakland. 9.30 tip-off. Chet Kopik will have an extended pregame at 7 on AM 1000. Well, Cliff Levingston tried to hustle that jump ball down a little bit ago, John, and Roy almost took us out. It shows you what we go through to bring in a game, Jim. We just stay right staring on that action. <laughs> that, by the way, resulted in a, well, it was a goaltending call and layup at the other end. Stockton's free throw is good. John Stockton's first three points of the game, and Utah within one. 6.55 left in the half. Scotty Pippen holding left on the drive around a Purdue screen, top of the key. Right side, Grant, left corner, Armstrong, B.J. comes up shooting and hitting. Stockton was chasing and Armstrong was wide open and he hit it 35-32. Stockton on the walk off to the right. That's what happened last year in the second half when Pax had those open shots. Stockton right side looking in for Carl Malone. Purdue was fronting him. Eight to shoot. Now they go oh, into Malone. Missed tough. the layup. Purdue the rebound. Good job by Will. Yes, sir. On the move is Pippen. Right side of the Bulls front court. Right corner, it's Armstrong. Back out to Pippen. Now Hobson has it between the circles. Purdue left of the key. Turns on the dribble and hands to Armstrong. Nine to shoot. Armstrong against Stockton. Into Grant. Right of the lane against Malone. Horace turns. Made away jumper. Rimming, no. Scotty Pippen, the follow on the way. Banked it. No good. Rebound. Tipped out of bounds by Mike Brown. The Bulls keep it. And now Jeff Malone returns for the Jazz, and Daryl Griffith goes out. 559 uh -oh. left in the half. Uh-oh. The screen is... Your screen is full. Mark Eaton back in for Mike Brown. Well, Mike Brown is good size. He ran by him like a little kid. In Baseline right. Bounce comes to Hobson off to the right. The Bulls came in with a new shot clock. Armstrong between the circles. Right side Hobson. Right of the lane, it's Grant. Backing in on Malone. Out to Pippen. Scotty faking on Bailey. Takes him left of the lane. Dumps it to Armstrong. Short jumper. Good left baseline. B.J. Armstrong just scores one off. You got to move when they're doing yep. that. When those big guys are going at you, you got to just be, make yourself available. And the Bulls are up by five with five and a half minutes left in the half. Inside Bailey, he's got the team. Went for the steal and the pass into the post, and Thurl Bailey was open for the dunk. Dennis Hobson runs the show for the Bulls. Pippen has it left of the key. Pippen against Bailey. Left around a Purdue screen. Now he's picked up by Eaton and Bailey. Scotty dribbles free underneath. Reverse layup. A wild one missed. Cleared by Bailey. Oh, he just threw him down. Malone just threw him down. Foul on Malone as he threw Pippen down in the backcourt. Oh, man. Carl Malone with his second. He just ran by Scotty. He just ran by Scotty. Reached out, grabbed his shoulder, and threw him down. And Malone is really burning. Well, yeah. Yeah, because he didn't think anybody was watching. <laughs> Bob Delaney was right there. Now Jordan and Paxson are coming back into the game for the Bulls. It happened off the ball, and normally you can get away with something off the ball. Scotty trying to get up, and uh, as he was trying to get up, Malone pushed him back down. Stay down, Scott. <laughs> Grant has it ahead of the key. Jordan with the ball right side against Jeff Malone. Michael left around a Purdue screen into the lane. Feeds it left to Paxson. He fires good. John Paxson was open and hit the shot. That could have been a jump ball. Yep, but they didn't call it. Stockton looked like he had Michael well, tied up, but he's one of the several things they didn't call. <laughs> so far. Again, it's a five-point Bulls lead. Stockton off to the right, guarded by Paxson. Looking low for Bailey. Gets 
gives it to him. He's doubled in the post. Swings the hook up. No good. Horace Grant out to Jordan. Michael working into the front court. Tracks the crowd. Takes it down the lane. Left corner. Packs it. He fires. Rimming. No. Tip Grant won't go. Will Purdue had it. Lost it. Jump ball called. Purdue and Eaton. Good effort by Will. Now, Will has done a good job. He has been guarding uh, Carl Malone on the other end, Jim, and he's kept him from getting the ball. Now he comes down right against Eaton. Goes after that offensive rebound. Gets a jump ball. So... Will right in there with him, and so now let's play the defense, guys. Let's try to steal that tap. <laughs> jump it up again. Eaton hit it after he came back down, yeah. and there's one jump it again. There's one place it's going to go, and that's between Malone and between uh, Bailey, and then Stockton is going to break down the court. You try to steal, you got to get between those two guys. Pippen steals the tap to the hoop, shoots it up, rimming, no! Horace Grant with a follow block by Eaton. Stockton has it. Utah on the run. Stockton comes down, off to Carl Malone, low right. He lays it up, no good. Will Purdue the rebound. Boy, the Bulls close the door again. Now Paxson coming back. Left side, Pippen. Scotty outside to the left against Bailey. Pippen directing traffic, wide left, 10 to shoot. Purdue has it right side to Jordan. Outside jumper, Michael, rimming, no. Rebound, Bailey. Stockton with the ball. Utah coming down, trailing by five. Stockton in the front court, left side. 3.38 left in the first half. Thurl Bailey's left corner shot is in. Thurl Bailey with six, Utah within three. Scotty Pippen right of the lane, on the move against Bailey, all the way inside, scoops the shot up no good, draws the foul. Well, we have seen some creativity here. That foul was on Bailey, his first. Four team fouls. Cartwright back in for Will Purdue. Will Purdue did a good job in there, I'm going to tell you that. There's your leading scorers, Jordan and Carl Malone. Neither one of them have scored since the first quarter. Yeah. Blue Edwards back in for Utah. Thurl Bailey is out. Pippen to throw in. Foul line extended left. Scotty looks, he brings it into Paxson. Grant with a ball right of the circle. Horace hands to Jordan, left of the key, jumper. Rimming, no. Malone had it, lost it. Cartwright up with a ball. The Bulls with another attempt. Boy, they've done a good job on the offensive boards. Yeah. It's a good thing because that's the only thing preventing them from getting blown out here tonight. Jordan on the right side into Pippen and a foul on Edwards. Scotty shoots two. They're over the limit. Blue Edwards with his second. The Bulls have not rebounded Utah 12 to 6. And remember, when we came on the air tonight, we talked about having to deal with that big size. Well, they've dealt with it fairly well as far as rebounds are concerned. Pippen in and out with the free throw. Boy, they have. If they shoot the ball at all, any kind of uh, high percentage, the Bulls are up big. Pippen's second free throw attempt. That one is good. 40 to 36. The Bulls a four-point lead. 3.03 left in the half. Stockton in the backcourt against pressure. Up court pass to Carl Malone. Tipped away by Pippen. Got a oh. foul on Scotty Pippen. That's his second. And a timeout taken. 2.57 left in the half. It's the Bulls up four. 40-36 on the Bulls network. Friday, November 30th, the Bulls home Indiana Pacers and the first 10,000 people receive a mug celebrating the Bulls' 25th anniversary. Compliments from our friends at Miller Genuine Draft. While we have a moment, Sports Channel would like to welcome its affiliate, Jones Intercable, and their subscribers in Glen Ellen. And, of course, our radio audience on the Bulls radio network. Boy, the Bulls' offensive rebounds, 12 to Utah's 4. Against a much bigger team. Yep. Bulls a little more mobile, though. That's keeping the Bulls in this game. They're up 4 with 2.50 left here in the first half. Stockton in the right corner has lost a dribble against Paxson. Stockton with 11 to shoot, exchanges with Eaton, has it back right side. Stockton on the move, six on the clock, way out between the rings. A three try by Stockton, rimming no. Eaton tips it back out to Stockton, they keep it. Stockton in for the left, feeds it off low left to Edwards. His short shot partially blocked by Jordan, cleared by Grant. Michael Jordan has it. Again, the Bulls turn him away. Pippen's right corner jumper, rimming no good. Oh, 
Not a red shirt in sight on that one, Scotty. Stockton down the lane, scoops it in. That's something. You make a bad decision, and boy, they come right away and make you pay for it. It's a two-point lead for the Bulls at 40-38. Paxson on the walk between the rings. Now Grant has it to Pippen down the lane. Scotty in deep, surrounded. Kicks out to Paxson. Open 20-footer on the way. Book it. John Paxson has six. The Bulls are back to a four-point lead. They use John just as an outlet, and he's been able to nail three out of four from out there. Stockton brings it up for the Jazz. Michael Jordan's three-point field goal at the buzzer in the first quarter gave the Bulls the lead and so far they have not lost it. Wide left is Edwards off the ball. Bob Delaney for the call. Stockton. Got a foul on Stockton. John Stockton with his second foul. The offensive foul, the turnover. The Bulls have it with 136 left in the half. This team is having tough time scoring points, Jim. Only about 98 a game. Pax comes into the front court. Left side Jordan against Jeff Malone. Michael Jordan stops the dribble, dumps it into Grant, low left against Carl Malone, and Horace lays it in. Finally, Horace gets that field goal he's been looking for. And the Bulls lead is six. A minute 16 for the half. Wide left is Carl Malone holding at the stripe. Eaton way out on the floor, left side holding over his head. Left corner Stockton and a foul on Paxson. That's the third foul on John Paxson. That's still the uh, first one in the last two minutes. So Utah will throw in. Foul line extended left with 107 left to go. Let's see if Stockton goes one on one with Pax. He'll want to get that fourth foul on him. Stockton on the move off to the right. Stops the dribble, gets it into Carl Malone against Grant. Reverse layup missed. Malone again lays it in. Carl Malone with 14, his first two points of the second quarter. It reminds me of that other Malone at center that does the Moses. same thing at Atlanta. Moses, bing, body. Jordan gives it to Paxson in the left corner. Back to Michael underneath. It's knocked loose. Jordan saves to Cartwright in the right corner. Cartwright cross court left to Paxson. Paxson the drive in for left. Jackknife jumper, bank no good. Rebound Carl Malone with 34 seconds left. John Stockton coming back for Utah. They're going to want to get a two for one here, and Stockton's outside jumper good for the right. John Stockton's got seven. The Bulls' lead is two. 22 seconds left. Two difference on the shot clock. The Bulls playing it for one. Jordan double team. Left side, Paxson. Pax gives to Pippen in the left corner. Ten to shoot. Back left side of side, Paxson. Six on the clock. Paxson with five on the clock. Horace Grant, right corner, Cartwright. He shoots with three on the clock. Good right baseline. Bill Cartwright with 2.9 seconds left. Puts the Bulls up four. Carl Malone into Stockton. Stockton up court. He plays to Edwards. A three by Edwards. No good for the right. And at halftime, it's the Bulls who walk off with a gutty four-point lead here in the Salt Palace. 46-42. The halftime score will return after these messages on the Bulls Network. The Bulls opening this seven-game road trip here in the Salt Palace in Salt Lake City. Sellout crowd is on hand. It's a four-point lead for the Bulls here at halftime. Both pubs back on the floor here. As uh, I tell you, John, uh, the one area of the game that I thought the Bulls did so well in was rebounding, and especially at the offensive end. They did, and they did not do it with superior height. They did it with quickness. Uh, every time that they went to trap the Bulls offensively, the Bulls would have someone going to the basket. So when there was a missed shot, there was somebody in to pick it off. The Bulls' defense, I think, has been superb. Jim, you look at that scoring. Carl Malone, only two shots. They haven't. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Jeff Malone with only two points. They haven't really looked for him that much, but uh, the Bulls have really done a good job, and I'll say that Will Purdue has certainly put the clamps in that second period in that little short time he was in there on Carl Malone. Yeah, he really did. He did an outstanding job. We're set to take a look at some highlights here in the first half. Let's go to them right now. Carl Malone with the shot outside. He's been a guy that wants to take that fade away. He's done it quite well. Daryl Bailey with the ball. Michael Jordan intercepted a pass on his side, came down, went around his back, up and under with a finger roll, left-handed off the ring over John Stockton for a uh, deuce. And Will Perdue looked down a court. He got it to Michael. Michael in the air, flipped it to Stacy King. Stacy laid it in, and as the ball rolled through, getting back defensively, Michael alert. He took the ball and a steal off Stockton. Time running out. He collected for a three-pointer, and it's net. 
And the Bulls have not relinquished the lead ever since that very play. Here's Thurl Bailey also getting a dunk. For Utah, the leading scorers in the game, Michael Jordan with 13 points all in the first quarter. John Paxson, Stacey King, B.J. Armstrong with six. And Carl Malone leading the Utah Jazz with 14 at halftime. Stockton has seven. Edwards and Bailey with six apiece. I think the Bulls have to be very pleased with themselves that they have the lead considering they shot so poorly in that first Jimmy, half. they did. They shot poorly. One time they shot like 32, 33 percent. And what happened was they had nine more shots than Utah. And that was directly responsible to those offensive rebounds that got them those nine extra shots. So you can shoot poorly if you're getting two shots at the basket. Now you increase it to 50 percent. The one thing that we talked about before the game, the part of the game plan that was in the Bulls' favor is the fact the Bulls are a much deeper team than Utah. And so now in the second half, hopefully yep. that bench will pay off. Well, you might even see Hodges when they try to double team and triple team for the open shots from the corner. 46-42. The Bulls with a four-point lead here at halftime. Their biggest has been eight. We'll return to the Salt Palace and have third quarter action after these messages. With the Bulls in front by four here at halftime, let's take a look at some of the halftime statistics that we have for you. We talked about that cold shooting by the Bulls. 347 from the field. Utah not much better. 429. Chicago 11 for 14 at the foul line. The Jazz 5 of 5. And the Bulls out-rebounded the Jazz 28-25 and 12 to 6 offensively. Off the bench, 16 points for the Bulls, 13 for the Jazz. Elsewhere in the NBA tonight, Cleveland wins at Atlanta, 121-104. Detroit hammered Miami, 118-93. And Orlando hits the win column against Dallas, 109-103. Charlotte rips Washington tonight, 120-105. Philadelphia, that's an important win for the Sixers without Johnny Dawkins, 108-100. And Milwaukee on its way to victory against Boston. How would you, uh, you look at the statistics sheet that I got in front of me, John Stockton has five assists. This. They have five as a team. <laughs> Nobody getting the ball to the open man if it's not Stockton. Boy, Utah way down in scoring in the NBA, averaging 97.8. So you'd have to say that this in game is being played at a jazz pace. Interesting. In the last quarter, they've been outscored 86 to 114. They're scoring 20. They're giving up 28 to 21. The Bulls in the front court as the second half begins. Paxson has it between the circles. Off to the right, it's Grant. 12 on the shot clock. Paxson has it back out front. 10 to shoot. Michael Jordan, baseline right. Shoots it on Jeff Malone. Rimming, no. Horace Grant, the rebound. Back out to Paxson. There's 13 offensive rebound. Scotty Pippen gives to Cartwright. Pippen has it. Steps foul line under pressure. Off to Paxson. Right of the circle. Super rimming. No. Rebound. Loose ball. Foul. Bill Cartwright. That's his second. Utah gets it. After turning the Bulls away, that trip. Stockton brings it up. The Jazz with a four-game winning streak against the Bulls. Stockton outside left including their one-point victory at the buzzer here last year. Stockton had it stolen by Paxson. Good hustle, but he was out of bounds trying to save it in bounds. And it's a reset. Stockton does a great job when you stop his dribble of moving and maneuvering and putting his body in here, taking it back to get that extra room to try to find Malone underneath or to find Thurl Bailey. Now Carl Malone to make the inbounds pass. Baseline left. He comes in to Stockton. Stockton out to the left, leans over the dribble, dumps into Carl Malone, low left. He's doubled in the post. Malone looking for Eaton under the basket, throws it instead, cross court, and Jordan knocks it out of bounds. Carl Malone blew the play. <laughs> he had Mark Eaton wide open under the basket and elected to throw over the defense and almost turned it over. It's hard to throw over Eaton's head. Yeah, but he was standing there yeah, right, right. He was shovel it to him. Now with 10 on the shot clock, out front at Stockton. Around a Carl Malone screen, burns it hard to the hoop, missed the layup. Up through the foul, John Paxson with his fourth. Two team fouls on the Bulls. Takes it to the right, just leans on in, lays it up as he gets the head start. B.J. Armstrong heads off the bench. Stockton made his only free throw. Matter of fact, they were perfect in the first half. Five for five. Six for six. Paxson on the bench as Armstrong comes on. Stockton again. That's it. 
Stockton with nine. It's a two-point lead for the Bulls and 10.45 left in the third. Pippen has it front court to the right. Looking for Jordan. Michael has it in the right corner. Jordan against Jeff Malone. Spinning shot. Bank no good. Right baseline. Carl Malone the rebound. Stockton delivers to Jeff Malone in the break and the game is tied. Jeff Malone scoring. And it's 46 all. D.J. Armstrong off to the left. Pippen has it. Right side Jordan. Into Cartwright against Eaton. Cartwright 10 to shoot. Now Armstrong with it. Back into Cartwright. Across the lane. Lefty oh, hook. Uh -huh. Rebound. Carl Malone. Utah back looking for the lead. Stockton in the front court. Left of the circle. Drives on Armstrong. Fakes in deep. Bouncer back out to Carl Malone. 18 footer. Good. And the Jazz take the two point lead as they score the first six points of the second half. Timeout Bulls with 9.56 left in the third. 48-46 Utah on the Bulls Network. Coming up after the game on Sports Channel, the Sports Channel Report, the Sports Writers on TV, Sports Nightly, and then College Hockey, Michigan State at Michigan. Milwaukee wow. hammers Boston tonight, 119-91. And Golden State upsets San Antonio. That was in Oakland. That's where the Bulls are headed after this one. Four-point win for the Warriors. Bulls down two here. 9.45 left in the third. Armstrong between the circles. A lot of standing right now. Grant walks. Coming across the lane. He's trying to post Michael up, and it's not working. A sky, they got to clear Scotty on through there if they want to get him in. Bulls have hit three of their last 14 field goal attempts over the last 6.54 going back to the first half. So Utah with the lead in the ball. Isolation. Stockton drives it from the right side. Knocked out of bounds by the Bulls. Utah to throw in. They cleared the side for Stockton. Carl Malone inbound. To Jeff Malone, and he shoots it in right baseline. Jeff Malone with six. Eight in a row for the Jazz. They've got a four-point lead. Michael Jordan out front. Right with the ball left of the key out of high. Armstrong cuts left, shoots a 20 footer, no good. Rebound, Carl Malone. Kicks it on ahead up the court to Stockton. Stockton delivers under the basket to Jeff Malone. His shot blocked by Grant, cleared by Jordan. A throw ahead to Pippen. Scotty comes into the front court, gets slowed down. Cartwright has it left of the key. Wide left is Armstrong. Works around a Cartwright screen, drives to the hoop. Scoop shot, no! Taken down by Carl Malone. Bulls are all of six, starting the third. Thurl Bailey in for the right, shoots it up, no good. Dips it up, no good. Rebound to Horace Grant. Outlet stolen by Carl Malone. When you're all of six, you can't be careless. Here is Bailey missing a layup. Cartwright the rebound. Out to Armstrong. BJ coming back. Left corner, Pippen. He lines up the on trap and misses the shot out of the left corner. Take up that slack. Big guy was nowhere around. Ooh. Bulls have gone four minutes without scoring here in the third and trail by just four. Stockton has it off to the right. Cross-court pass to Jeff Malone. His shot on the way. No good left baseline. Michael Jordan the rebound. Again, the Bulls trying to get on the board here in the second half. Grant doubled up. Out to Cartwright. Foul line jumper. Hello. Bill Cartwright hits it from 15 feet out front. 50 to 48. While the Bulls went over four minutes without scoring, Utah could put only eight up there. Stockton has it off to the left. Standing dribble against Armstrong. Ten to shoot. Here's Bailey open. Turnaround shot. Missed it. Malone the rebound. Comes back to the hoop. Misses the layup. Cartwright the rebound. Outlet to Jordan. Michael in the front court. Bulls looking to tie. Right corner Armstrong. BJ. Quick delivery inside. Low right to Grant. Back out Armstrong. Pippen swings to Jordan in the left corner. Jordan around a cart right screen, 20-footer good. Left side, his first point since the first quarter. Listen, they had missed seven in a row, Jim. Yep. Wow. And the Bulls catch him at 50 with 7.06 left in the third. Stockton on the move. Right corner, he plays it to Bailey. His shot in and out. And Michael Jordan, the rebound. The Jazz are 0 for 8. Jordan coming back down the lane against Jeff Malone. Free to roll around no. the belt and a foul call. Jordan shoots to the foul on Jeff Malone, his third. Good play, Michael, going around Malone, and he had Eaton beat. That's why I was hoping that he could get that basket on in. 
The way they're shooting, they can use every little roll. For two shots. And he's got the first one. The Bulls have regained the lead with 6.51 left in the third. Michael with 16 points and six rebounds came into the contest leading the Bulls in rebounding with six and a half. Makes the second one. 52-50. Pulls the lead. Uh, they've got the press on. And Malone is fouled by Pippen. No, he walked. Scotty forced Carl Malone into the turnover. Good defense again. I'll tell you what the Bulls have done is with good defense, and they have not been soft under the basket, Jim. They've gone hard for the rebound. So the Bulls to throw in. Sideline out of bounds. Right-hand side of the front court. The inbounds comes into Armstrong. Scotty Pippen outside left on the drive against Bailey. Past Eaton missed it. Rebound Jordan in the right corner. Michael comes up shooting good right baseline. Michael Jordan gives the Bulls a four-point lead as the Bulls have run off eight in a row. Did he block that? I guess. <laughs> it went out of there run a shot. I couldn't tell if he blocked it or Scotty lost the handle going up. Now Eaton has it out front left baseline. Jeff Malone, he fires, missing. Rebound Grant. Jordan releases. He finds him. Michael on the drive, closing on Stockton. And Eaton. Spin oh, oh. In. He ate up Mark Eaton with a quick pivot down the lane. And the Bulls run off 10 in a row. And Jerry Sloan burns a timeout with 6.03 left in the third. 56-50 Chicago back after these messages on the Bulls network. Save fans for the best selection of Bulls hats, T-shirts, jackets, and other NBA merchandise. Visit the official Bulls team shops at any one of the 18 Chicagoland Carson Peary Scott stores. Ten straight points for the Bulls. Well, we understand that's the governor of Utah sitting there. Norman Bangeter. The Bulls up six. Utah hit its first three. Now they're 0 for their last nine here in the third. Stockton off to the left, guarded by Armstrong. Ten on the shot clock. They go into Carl Malone to the hoop. Jordan blocks the shot, but Horace Grant on the foul. Horace took a shot. While we have a moment, let's pause for station identification on the Bulls Network. Sports channels in season all year round with exclusive coverage of the Chicago Bulls, Blackhawks, and White Sox. Mailman, 65% free thrower on the season. Shoots his first one of the night, short. Cliff Levingston on for the Bulls. Replacing Pippen. Stockton is out. Delaney Rudd returns for Utah. Al Malone takes his time, the second free throw. That one's good. Malone has 17. The Bulls' lead is five. Michael Jordan walks it up, 548 remaining in the third. Horace Grant outside left. Malone nowhere around him. Armstrong between the rings. Cartwright has it high right. Hands to Jordan on the come around. Michael headed the key against Jeff Malone. Goes left and comes up shooting. Really no. Carl Malone skies for the rebound. Delaney Rudd brings it back for the Jazz. Rudd off to the right side, goes over the top. Turnaround shot Malone, rimming no. Eaton a loose ball foul over the back. Whoa, the foul is on Cliff Levingston. Oh, golly, I'll uh, tell you, he's on the other inside. 53. You're right, it's on Eaton. Yeah. It's on. Cliff is in the inside, and he just gets hammered over there. They call 53. They had to be right with somebody. Didn't they? <laughs> so the Bulls have it. That's the second team foul on Utah. Levingston gives it up to Armstrong out front. Ten on the shot clock. Horace Grant turnaround shot right of the lane. Yeah, Horace finally hits that one. He's got six, and the Bulls lead is seven. 4.55 left in the third. Delaney Rudd runs the show for the Jazz. Outside left, pressured by Armstrong. Utah's gone the last five without a hoop. Out front. They swing it left to Rudd. Eight to shoot. Bailey has it head of the key. Another illegal defense call against the Bulls. The second of the game. Technical foul. Thurl Bailey shoots the second. He said it was Cartwright being out of the lane. 
Bailey, 8 for 10, free throwing on the season. Carol Bailey scored six points in the second quarter tonight. And that free throw gives him seven. The Bulls' lead is 58-52, 4.42 left to go third quarter. Carl Malone to throw in, foul line extended left. He brings it in to Jeff Malone. Jeff Malone off the circle left side, backing in on Jordan. Wide left is Bailey, pressured by Levingston. Underneath Carl Malone, in traffic, misses the hook, misses the tip. Rebound fight, dug out by Levingston. Up court to Armstrong. Bulls in the front court. Boy, good effort by the Bulls. Jordan has it right corner to Grant. Horace fires. Rimming no good. Tip won't go. And Utah comes away with it. Delaney Rudd pushes on the dribble. Carl Malone dunks. Carl Malone with 19. And Utah within four. Michael Jordan in the Bulls front court. Stacy King getting ready to come on. Levingston holding to the right. Out front, Armstrong. Cartwright left of the key. Hands to Armstrong. Off to the left. Eight to shoot. B.J. around a Cartwright screen. Shoots it left of the circle. Right through. B.J. Armstrong with eight. That's and a pretty the Bulls good, are back to a six-point That's point a pretty lead. good play if they're struggling. Get that pick and roll with B.J. Out front, Jeff Malone against Jordan. Malone off the circle to the left. Bouncer into the left corner to Rudd. Back out to Malone. Shot clock at 10. Left corner, Delaney Rudd. Shoots a long one over Armstrong. It's in. Delaney Rudd with his first basket of the night. Utah stays within four. Jordan coming back against Jeff Malone. Gives it up to Armstrong instead. DJ right side leans over the dribble. Can't get spacing. Now plays into Grant low right. Horace left side to Jordan. Left corner Armstrong. Eight to shoot. DJ on the drive. Right side Levingston. He dumps it under to Grant. Horace had it knocked away and stolen by Carl Malone. Utah with a ball as the Bulls turn it over. 60-56 Bulls. Jazz in the front court. Right corner Bailey. Underneath Malone. His layup blocked it and he tipped it in. They can't handle him. He's got 21. 60 to 58. Levingston holding wide to the right. Armstrong out between the rings. Left side, it's Jordan. I mean, the Bulls sent a posse that time, and they still couldn't turn Malone away. Cartwright left baseline. Side steps, Eaton lead in shot. Banked it in. Bill Cartwright hits it. He's got eight. 62-58. And the Bulls keep the lead and 2.18 left to go in the third. Delaney Rudd in the Utah front court off to the left, guarded by Armstrong. Oh, he dribbled it out of bounds. No, a foul on B.J. Armstrong. That's his third. Four-team foul. Stacy King is in. Blue Edwards is in. Thurl Bailey is out, and Horace Grant is out. Carl Malone to make the inbounds pass. 2-11 remaining third quarter. Malone brings it in to Edwards. The Bulls with 14 fouls here in the third. Rudd has it right side at the three-point stripe. Dumps into Malone. Malone right corner shot over King. He's in. He's got 23. Nine in the third. And Utah within two. 62-60. 1.52 remaining in this quarter. Michael Jordan left side against Jeff Malone. Jordan around a cart right screen. Down the lane to the hoop. Missed the scoop layout. Cleared by Carl Malone. Outlet to Jeff Malone. He's got a breakout. And the game is tied at 62. Minute 30 remaining. Bulls in the front court. Cliff Levingston has it wide to the right. In the right corner, it's Armstrong. B.J. under pressure of Delaney Rudd comes out around a cart right screen. Shoots the force up, shot no good. Ball on the deck, Jeff Malone up with it. The Jazz a chance at the lead. Jeff Malone coming into the front court. Off to the right side, they dump in. Low right, Carl Malone, fadeaway jumper. It's in, Carl Malone with 25. The Utah Jazz take the lead as they run off eight in a row. 64-62 with 54 seconds left in the third. Michael Jordan wide left, guarded by Jeff Malone. Takes it in for the left side in the left corner to Armstrong. A foul called on the pass off by Jordan. Jeff Malone has his fourth non-shooting foul. First in the last two minutes. 48.4 seconds left in the third. The Bulls to throw in. And Dennis Hobson coming in. Daryl Griffith coming in for Utah. 
Brooks that comes in for Jordan. 48.4 left to go in the third, and the Jazz in front by two. Stockton returns. Delaney Rudd is out. Livingston to make the inbounds pass. He brings it in to Cartwright. Armstrong has it. Wide left is Levingston. Blue Edwards guarding him. King has it head of the key. 12 to shoot. Stacy left the lane slips and loses the ball to Stockton. Bulls are getting nothing offensively. Here is Stockton giving the ball up, but it's saved by Griffin. Left corner shot, Blue Edwards. Rimming no. Trent right the rebound. 22 seconds left. Now the Bulls will play it for one. They trail by two. No shot clock, 15 seconds. Armstrong out front. Standing dribble pressured by Stockton. Eight seconds. Outside left, Hobson. Long force-up shot is in. A two-point goal for Dennis Hobson. The game is tied. Here's Stockton coming back. His three try. Bank no good. And after three, the Bulls and Jazz are even. It's tied at 64 on the Bulls network. 38%, but the game tied at 64. Here's Stockton left around a Mike Brown screen. Picks it up top of the key. Left corner shot, Blue Edwards. Rimming over the top and out of bounds. The Bulls have it with a chance at the lead. Houston hangs on and beats the Timberwolves tonight, 90 to 88. In the summit. Boy, Minnesota's playing good, huh? Yes, they are. Very competitive club. Armstrong comes into the front court. Outside left, it's Levingston. Now Purdue with the ball top of the key. Right side Hobson. Low right King. Back to Hobson. Right corner shot on the way. Good. A two-point oh goal. Dennis Hobson too has deep. two outside jumpers. Deep. And the Bulls lead is two with 11.20 remaining. Biggest lead has been eight. Here's Stockton on the move right of the key. Backs it out. Stockton with 11 on the shot clock. Works around a pick, gives it up to Blue Edwards out front, eight to shoot. In it goes to Bailey, turnaround jumper, no good for the right side. Blue Edwards missed the tip dunk, but a foul has been called on Will Purdue. This will be an interesting replay. Number one, where did Blue Edwards come from? That's right, the shot me outside. Blue Edwards came in. Will got him on the right arm, but he just had his hand up in the air. I don't think he knew where the guy came from. Yep. Edwards shoots two and makes the first one. Blue Edwards with seven points in the game. Hasn't played well in the early part of the season, but he's been shooting free throws well. He's eight for eight this year as he makes the second one to tie the game. We've played a minute here in the fourth quarter. Outside left, it's Levingston. Purdue has it head of the key. Right side, Hobson. King, low right against Mike Brown. Comes back in, has the shot blocked. Cleared by Bailey. Now Griffith with it. Daryl Griffith on the push. Down the lane. Shoots it up. No good. Purdue the rebound inside of Mike Brown. Purdue clears traffic. Finds Armstrong. B.J. fires to Hobson in the left corner. Hobson against Griffith. Out front, it's Armstrong. Back to Hobson. Wide left. Now to King. Left to the lane. Hobson has it. Steps left to the circle. Gives to Armstrong. He drives the left baseline. Shoots a one-hander. Good from behind the glass. B.J. Armstrong with 10. The Bulls lead by two. 10-13 remaining. Stockton has it off to the left. On the drive. Down the lane. Scoop pass off to Griffith. The short shot good from the left baseline. First two points for Griffith in the second half. He's got seven in the game. It's tied at 68. We are inside of 10 minutes for the fourth quarter. Levingston between the circles. Lou Edwards on him. Purdue has it right in the key. Comes left on the dribble. Picks it up. Plays into King low left. Left corner shot arms for short. Rebound. King knocks it in the air and Stockton has it. The Jazz with a chance at the lead. Stockton works into the front court. Left baseline shot. Daryl Griffith. Yep. Daryl Griffith with nine. And Utah leads by two with 9.30 left. in the front court. Hobson wide to the right. Guarded by Griffith. Out front it's King. Shot clock at 10. Left side Armstrong. Knocked loose but he saves it. Low left Purdue. He loses it across the lane. 
The Bulls have nothing to show out of the post play in the fourth. Here's a foul on Livingston against Griffith. Whenever King or Purdue turns into the lane, they lose the ball here in the fourth quarter. They lose the ball or get it belted away from them, Jim. Uh, Will goes into the center. That's hit away by Blue Edwards. They come down to court, give the ball in, and he ducks underneath the arm of Cliff Livingston, who comes down and commits the foul. Daryl Griffith, two of three free throwing on the season, makes this one. He's got 10 points in the game. Now Horace Grant is in. Will Purdue is out. 9.08 remaining. And Utah in front by three. Horace put those glasses down. I don't know if it's for this game or. Griffith in and out with that second one, and it's tipped over the top out of bounds. It belongs to Utah. No, no that's Chicago, right. says Steve Jambi. Give it to the Bulls. The Bulls are down three. That's not a very big lead. But the way they've been shooting the ball tonight, that's a big lead. Here's Armstrong into the front court. Everything outside. Yep. When they try to go inside, they lose it, like right there. A throw into Grant. It's stolen by Bailey, and Utah coming right back with it. Stopped and shot. Blocked by Livingston out of bounds. Good play by Cliff. You might want to just take Livingston down on Blue Edwards and say, get down low and see what you can do with him. And right at you in your living room, Stockton comes and Cliff says, not on my street. Thurl Bailey coming inbounds to Griffith underneath. Reverse layup. No good. King the rebound to Hobson. Hobson brings it down on the drive. Right side Armstrong. Right baseline Livingston. Back out to Armstrong. In it goes to Grant. Horace surrounded in the lane. Throws up the shot and it's finally tipped in by Levingston. Horace had to throw up a left-handed off-balance shot just to avoid a travel call. And Cliff Levingston tipped it in. It's a one-point Utah lead. Stocked it on the drive down the lane. Right side Edwards. Long jumper. It's in. Blue Edwards hits it with his foot on the three-point strike. Why did these guys get their shooting eye back against us? 73-70. <laughs> Armstrong in the right corner, comes out around a king pick. Left side, Levingston, long jumper missed. Rebound, Utah. Stockton on the drive, passed everybody, missed the layup, drew the foul from Levingston, and he'll shoot two. Cliff Levingston with his second foul. Timeout taken. The Bulls are down three with 7.53 left in the game. 73-70 on the Bulls network. Jordan at the scorer's table and Stockton on the foul line shooting two. At the line, and John Stockton shooting two. Scotty Pippen back into the game. Stockton hits the free throw. Big nine and assist for Stockton. Tops in the league. Well, not yet this season, but you know he probably will be before it's over. He hits both free throws. It's 75-70. Michael Jordan brings it up and gives it up to Hobson. Left of the lane is King. Stacy turns in. Off-balance shot. Ball loose. Horace Grant trying to save and does. Hobson has it underneath to Jordan. Michael spins inside. His shot's blocked. Foul call. Jordan shoots two. That foul is on Mike Brown. But the Bulls did everything wrong that time, and they're going to come out of it with two free throws. They haven't done much right offensively in this no. fourth quarter. Every shot has been a force-up. Double, triple team in the post. You would think with all that action around the post, somebody would be open. Jordan hits the free throw. One. Hey, Ange, can you turn it down in the triple? Okay, Michael. Michaels got one more free throw here. Carl Malone back in. Griffith is out. 7.33 left to go. Utah in front by four. Michael hits the second one. So he's got 23. Full court press. Stockton a long up court pass to Edwards. Whoa. Well, he had Mike Brown open along the baseline. Comes back out to Stockton instead. Stockton calling a play out near the center circle. Starts his move right around a Bailey screen and shoots it good from 20 feet to the right. John Stockton hits a big one. He's got 13. Utah in front by five. 7.09 remaining. 
Horace Grant back to the hoop, low right. Now to Jordan down the lane. Edwards chopped it away, but gets hit with a foul. Blue Edwards with his third. Not shooting foul, so they'll take it out on the side. have it in play. Jordan takes it left to the lane, backs it out, spins back baseline left to the hoop, reverse block, gets it back low right. Now off to Pippen. Scotty fakes. Now to Jordan. Right corner shot by Michael. It's in. Jordan hitting out of the right corner. He's got 25. The Utah lead is three. 6.45 remaining. Stockton coming into the front court. Angles off to the right. Shoots the three. Nope. Rebound. Tipped outside. Jordan has it. Michael drives it hard into the front court. Underneath Grant. Horace lays it in. Horace Grant with eight. And the Bulls are within one. 6.25 remaining. Stockton calls the play in the Utah front court. Off to the left. Guarded by Jordan. Stockton left side. Ten on the shot clock. They get Malone in the post. Left baseline. Bailey steps out and shoots it up. No good. Horace Grant the rebound. And looky here. The Bulls with a chance at the lead. Dennis Hobson's long jumper. No good from the left. Hobson missing from way out in the corner. I don't understand this game. Here's Stockton driving in for the right side. Takes it back out front. Stockton off to the left now. Ten on the shot clock. Stockton hook pass underneath to Carl Malone. Pippen the block. And Malone on the line to shoot two. Scotty picks up the foul. Scotty Pippen with his third. John Paxson coming on for the Bulls. Dennis Hobson going out. Scotty in Hart. Scotty in to give him the block. And then he gets a little push off. He both smile at each other as it goes on. Carl Malone, eight points in the game. Hasn't been on the free throw line yet. Hits it. Uh, Carl Malone, I'm sorry, he's two for three free throwing. Uh, Jeff. Yeah, Jeff hasn't been on the line yet. So 26 points for Carl Malone. Twenty-seven, and Utah steps out to a three-point lead. Paxson brings it up. Five forty left. Paxson outside between the rings. Gives it up to Grant to the right. Paxson has it back. Twelve to shoot. Into Cartwright against Mike Brown. Cartwright's turnaround jumper. Nope. Carl Malone has the rebound. Now Utah coming back with it. Stockton brings it up. Stockton on the walk to the left against Paxson. Stockton backs it out. 14 to shoot. Big trip for Utah with 5-10 left. Here's Stockton at the foul line. Right side, Jeff Malone. Right corner, Blue Edwards. Steps up and fires. Hits the side of the glass. Ball tipped loose. Still loose. Jordan has it. Jordan sidesteps Stockton. Now pushes hard on the drive. In for the right. Scoops it off to Pippen. Get an offensive foul on Michael Jordan as Jeff Malone went down. Michael Jordan with his first foul of the game. Jordan going down to court. Didn't see Malone step out in front of him. Eaton returns. Stockton walks it up. Turnovers fairly even tonight. Here's Stockton down the lane. In deep. Has it rejected. Cleared out of there by Paxson. Bulls down three with 440 left. Paxson to Grant at the foul line. He's fouled by Blue Edwards. A silly foul by Blue Edwards. That's his fourth. Utah with three team fouls. Yeah, that's the yeah, that's the third. Thurl Bailey, Malone, Eaton, Stockton, and Jeff Malone. They got the starting five out there. Paxson off to the left as the Bulls operate with their starting unit. Paxson to Jordan right side. Michael guarded by Jeff Malone. 14 to shoot. Jordan's outside shot on Jeff Malone. Rims out. Pippen's tip is in. Scotty's been very quiet offensively. He's got five points in the game. And Utah has a one-point lead this trip. Stockton in the front court. 4-13 left. Outside left, it's Bailey. Bailey guarded loosely by Pippen. 10 to shoot. 
Thurl Bailey goes into Carl Malone, low left, kicks out to Jeff Malone, and he lost the ball in the drive in the lane. Cartwright down to try to pick it up. Paxson trying to get it. Well, it's a 24-second violation anyway, and the Bulls end up with the ball. 3.55 left to go. 79-78. One-point lead for Utah. The Bulls with a chance at the lead, and Paxson brings it up. Paxson coming into the front court. Pippen has it outside left. Scotty guarded loosely by Bailey. 15 on the shot clock. Cartwright has it now. Grant with a ball right of the key. 10 to shoot. Grant picks it up, gives to Jordan. Six on the clock. Jordan against Jeff Malone. Fakes. Feeds it off. Got a foul called on Jeff Malone on the pass off. Jordan found Cartwright under the basket. Jeff Malone with his That's his foul. fifth, and Malone is doing a good job, and he will not let Michael get loose, Jimmy. He is all over him. It almost looks like Michael did the initiation of that contact. Scotty Pippen to make the inbounds pass. Foul line extended right. He comes into Paxson. Non-shooting foul. Here's Pippen with a shot up right at the key. Won't go. Horace Grant, loose ball foul over the back of Malone. The Bulls are over the limit. On Horace Grant, that's his third. So Utah gets to the free throw line and the person of Carl Malone. Stockton's walking down to the line. Whoa. It should be Malone. Carl Malone, after missing his first, has hit three in a row. He's got 27 points in the game. You still rather have Malone shooting free throws than Stockton, I think. <laughs> so two free throws here. 27 points for Malone tonight. Utah one-point lead, 3.28 left. Malone no good with that first one. night for Scotty Pippen. That last one he had was a tough tip in. I don't know of any Bulls player that shot the ball very well. I'll we'll be forgiven with a win here. Right. Malone makes the second one. Utah's lead is 2, 80-78. Bulls have it in play. Paxson works into the front court. Michael Jordan outside left against Jeff Malone. Jordan around the cart right screen. Footer, book it. Jordan sticks it from out front. And the game tied at 80. 313 left. Stockton walks into the front court. Outside left, it's Bailey. Pippen guarding him. Thurl Bailey holding. Shot pocket 13. Bailey gets it into Carl Malone. Turnaround shot over Grant. Air ball. Cleared out of the air and dunked by Mark Eaton. Well, that's what beat us against Boston, wasn't it, Jim? Yep. Do everything right. Expect the ball to hit the rim. And it doesn't. Mark Eaton with a dunk in Utah up two with 245 remaining. Michael Jordan on the drive, baseline left, and another foul. This right. one's on Cartwright setting the screen on Jeff Malone. Cartwright with his third. Timeout taken, 243 left to go. It is Utah 82, the Bulls 80, back after these messages on the Bulls Network. Carl Malone with 28 points tonight. Jordan's got 27. It's been a real struggle offensively in this fourth quarter for the Bulls. They have scored just 16 points. Utah has scored just 18. No turnovers in this fourth quarter for the Jazz. Four for the Bullies. Stockton angles left in the front court. Paxson guarding him. Screen roll with Bailey. Stockton top of the key. Gives to Malone in the wee offensive foul on Stockton setting the screen. That's his third. And the Bulls have it with a chance to tie and 2.32 remaining. The trade off of fouls. Cartwright setting an offensive screen and Stockton passing it off to Malone and getting one. John Paxson brings it up. Paxson in the front court. Right corner it's Jordan. Michael a jump pass out to Paxson. Shot clock at 14. Left side Pippen against Bailey. Into Grant. Low left against Carl Malone. Out to Pippen. Scotty with seven to shoot. No play. Paxson cutting back door. Trying to save it. Fade away shot block. 24 second violation. The Bulls offense is down in the mud and they are getting nothing. Yeah, they're, they're not utilizing Cartwright on the offense at all. And so what that does is that lets that big guy just stand back there, eat and then block everything up. You can't penetrate. 82-80. Utah the lead in the ball and 203 left to go. That's four Bulls turnovers here in the fourth. 
Here's Stockton, left baseline. Pressured by Paxson, 10 to shoot. In it goes to Carl Malone. Outside the ball, tipped by Jordan into the backcourt. Jeff Malone gets it. Shot clock at four, at two. Malone with a 30-footer on the run. Rimming no, tipping the rebound. Bulls coming back, trying to tie 138 left. Paxson spots up from 20, good from the left side. John Paxson drills the long jumper. The game tied at 82. Oh, boy. Stockton walks it up. Yeah, here we go again. <laughs> Stockton outside left against Paxson. Stockton with 10 on the clock. Looks into Malone, gets it to him. Horace Grant knocks it out of bounds. Seven to shoot. And now Utah to throw in. Baseline left. 117 on the game clock. Carl Malone on the bounce, kicked by Pippen. They get a new 24. Oh, boy. Sideline out of bounds this time. Carl Malone to make the inbounds pass. Remember, 117 left. It comes into Stockton. Stockton on the walk out to the center circle. Works right around a Bailey screen. Pippen knocks it loose. It's still loose. Stockton, Stockton a recovery. Carl Malone, course up shot left side, rimming. No. Rebound, Pippen. Scotty spins out on the drive. The Bulls look for the lead. Pippen into the front court. Right side, Paxson. Right corner, Jordan. 50 seconds left. Jordan against Jeff Malone. Right of the lane. Fakes, fakes. Kicks off left to Pippen. 10 on the shot clock. Pippen Good holding. Luck. Pippen holding six to shoot. Scotty left baseline shot blocked by Eaton, cleared by Carl Malone. 35 seconds left. Utah the ball. They're going to take it all the way on that shot. Take it all the way. Outside to the left is Stockton. Shot clock at 10, the big one at 22. The Bulls will get it again, remember. Malone to the hoop, hooks it up, bank no good. Rebound Jordan, timeout Chicago with 15.9 seconds left. Oh, man. Back to Salt Lake after these messages on the Bulls Network. Our projection screen. Carl Malone missed the hook right in front of the hoop. Good team defense here, though, Jimmy's wide open. He takes a step in. Cartwright comes over. Horace comes over. Scotty comes over. They've got those hands up there and rolls off the iron. The Bulls collect it and call a timeout as Jordan signals for it. And here they come with 15-9. Two timeouts left. Three, uh, two and a 20 by Chicago. Three and a 20 by them. And, Jimmy, we got what we had last year. Right down to the wire. Paxson brings it up. Now, last year was the controversial travel call on John Paxson that gave it up to Utah late. Seven seconds. Grant out high. Wide left. Pippen. Three seconds. Jordan sports up shot. To left. Oh, oh, yes! Win. Oh. Michael Jordan oh. saves the day. The Bulls offense down in the mud the entire fourth quarter. 